Okay, review of my calls today. Um, WLT Walter Energy was one of my first calls of the day. This is the opening candle right here. And then it put in this little uh, flag on five minute candles here. CLF, it's one of its sister stocks, if you will, was uh, very strong. And so I just uh, gave my attention to this nice, clean, little low risk pullback to the uh, five, eight, uh, five minute candle, uh, eight period moving average. Went ahead and called it long if it broke this green candle's high, 1178 with 1162 stop. And uh, worked like a charm and went all the way to 1257. So almost 80 cents in our favor on 16 cents risk. Um, another call I made early, and I'm going to teach you this one. This is one of my favorite setups. I didn't even have TSO on watch, okay? Um, but I noticed it in the morning. You know, I, I do kind of a first opening few minute scan of stocks showing unusual volume or shape and volume, that sort of thing. So um, these are five minute candles going back, you know, several days. And I can't draw great lines with the freehand part, so I'm just going to use a line drawing tool. Uh, loosely connect the tops of the five minute candles, right? This is going back about four days. And then look what happens at the open here. So this thing, um, you, you have what we call shape change. You see the volume up here too. Look at the volume uh, here. You did have one spot. But anyway, you get the point. You definitely had shape change, which looked like capitulation. I can bring the daily over. Um, without today's candle, which has that bottoming tail now, which is down here, the bottom of this tail is down here where we were buying it on this green candle. Um, there's nothing that compelling about why it should turn here. It's nicely below the 200, but it's down about, what, six, seven, eight, nine days in a row, and then starts to really sell off. That's, that's late shorts and, uh, you know, jumping in and, and the rest of the longs giving up. Okay, that's what capitulation looks like. I just called it long at the top of this green candle, right over 46 with a low of day stop. Um, and it held the stop all day, but uh, it gave us, it gave us, I don't know, 60 or 70 cents in about 10 minutes. And on, a, on an opening, you know, 30 minute trade, um, I'm a seller into that. It ended up coming back down. If you had any shares at break, even after that, took them out and then goes through the high of the day. But um, anyway, it was a nice way to start the day. Uh, CBS was another one I called. Let me show you the daily on that first. Um, actually, the smaller version, that kind of maroon colored line is the 100 day which is pretty close to this green line too. This, this green line um, isn't quite the same spot. But anyway, it had, uh, what, three or four days down into the 100-day moving average, and so I just had it on long watch. And then at the open, um, it popped and then based. So I didn't, I didn't do anything with it until it came up above this base. I just called it right here, at, right on this candle here, at 51.40 with a 20 cent stop. Stop 20 cents below. And uh, it was off to the races there, and it went up to um, 51.88, so about 50 cents on 20 cents risk. But you can see there from the entry, we were never underwater. Um, Comcast, CMCSA, kind of the same deal. I'll bring this one over. This blue line is the 100 day. Um, I had that on the watch list last night, what, four days down into some price support here to the left and the 100 day. So I was looking for a turn in Comcast as well. You can see it bounced today. And I made the call simply over this base. You had this tight base, and you had the high of day to the left. I already knew I liked the daily chart bouncing off the 100-day, and the market was strong. So I called it a 42.39 if it got there, which it did right there. And the worst case stop, 42.31. This was one of my tighter stops. Um, okay, I had to double check that. Yeah, the stop was seven cents below. Just. Um, a base break, stop right below the eight period moving average on fives. And then we got going, little stutter step there, and then we got another nice push. And this is where I teach people to sell. Um, if you're in something and it's grinding, my favorite sell is into shape. You, you might see me, hear me talk about that in some videos. This is a good example. Um, again, entry was, let me use an arrow real quick, and then I'll get out of here. Entry was right there. Stop was right there. Um, and then, kind of like I did before, you see the, the tops of the five minute candles, and then you see the shape. That's a great time. If you're ever in a stock um, and you get that in your favor, that's a great time to sell. A lot of people start seeing this and they start looking at the chart and calculating how rich they're going to be if it goes up another dollar. But look at that. That was the high of the day. It came back and did a double top. But um, anytime you have shape in your favor, it's a great time to unleash um, some shares. So, I believe that's it. Uh, no, LITB, Stephen B., one of our all-stars, um, called LITB. 
it had that huge gap down. He called it right over this tight little base here at 12.05. Um, worst case stop, I think 11.87. Um, and it doesn't look like much because the huge gap compresses the candle so much. But from 12.05, this thing made it to um, 12.90. So an 85 cent move on, uh, well, I don't know what the risk was, uh, 18 cents. So a really nice call by Stephen B. as well. Um, and I believe that was it for the day. Um, no, that's not true. I also had a trade in OSIR, um, called it over 2020 here, which was right there. And it went up to 20, 60 something. Now it was really thin and I told everybody that, but you had this crazy move up to almost 28 and then a green candle yesterday and then going back to five minute candles. Um, yesterday's high was right there. So if we get above 2020, more than likely we're gonna take out the high of the day and um, yesterday's high, which is that green daily candle. So you've got what I call stacked catalyst. You've got the break above this base, new high of day, break of yesterday's high. And it it's super thin though. Um, and I wasn't expecting a crazy move like the other day. But anyway, we did get uh, like a 40-something cent move in our favor, and nobody should have lost on it. But um, all right, I'll quit babbling. Uh, anyway, really nice day, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.